going to mention this regarding um fashion and stuff, right? So, um, I think I mentioned beforehand that there's a Grace Wells Bonner Adidas collaboration that looked absolutely amazing, kind of building on the success of the first one that went crazy. And of course, the Sambas being the shoes that everyone kind of are fighting over. I think the original pair of Sambas, the kind of lime and green ones, if I'm not mistaken, they're, they're going for like £400 or something last time I checked. Let me see if I can check again one more time here. But I'm pretty sure the last time I checked the Sambas, um, the original ones, they were going for like 400 on fucking StockX. So this update has been pretty good to see here. Let me see if I get Ada Samba stack. I'm going to check out my phone here just in case I don't able to get it up on here. And that original colorway that I think was like, well, I don't know if it was like, like a yellow green colorway. Um, you won't be able to see it on here. And actually it's this one. It's a brown one, isn't it? What? 2000. Okay, cool. Maybe I've, I've got it mistaken. But this colorway here is now going for like 600, which is the sort of the first one. And I'm actually going to get up on the screen so you can kind of see it. So that colorway there, that kind of brown one, that was one of the first ones they did, right? And that's like going for like, you know, last like last sale, there was like 559 in my size. Um, uh, no, actually, it's 1,000. What am I talking about? It's not even 559. It's flipping 1,232. So those shoes did absolutely numbers. So they announced a new collection and some new colorways. And the silver ones, woohoo! are the obviously the pièce de résistance that everyone kind of wants. Uh, there's a few other SL ones that people will like as well. I think there's a yeah, there's like a creamy colorway too. But of course, the silver ones right here are the money makers, and they dropped earlier today. And obviously, I didn't have a chance to kind of cop them. They all kind of sold that super quickly. But it is good to see that the flipping resellers might have caught a bit of an L. I think the first pairs were the first pairs because they, you know, it was a moment in time. Everyone kind of went crazy for them and they kind of did really, really well. I'd wear the hell out of that outfit, by the way. I'd wear the hell out of that flipping outfit. You got the little um, church vest jumper, some Adidas shorts from the collection, some light, some what? I think you call them turquoise or teal um, football socks and the silver shoes. Oh, I'd wear the fuck out of that outfit. Number one. Yeah. But anyway, the first drop was, was the first drop. It was a moment in time. And I guess resellers thought that they could kind of replicate that feeling. Even that, that, even that, theme, that, that bejeweled headband thing. I'd fucking wear the hell out of that too. I'd wear the hell out of that bejeweled headband thing. I'm not going to lie. That'd be a perfect thing to wear in a dance at Panorama Bar or something. But anyway, that being said, the first one was the first one. It did what it did. Resellers got a bit too excited and thought they could kind of catch another lick with the silver ones. But... I'm happy to report the resellers caught a fucking L. So I'll be able to purchase these probably within resell, within kind of retail range. Because so far, having checked StockX, having checked StockX, the recent sale so far in my size, which is a big boy adult size, right? I'm like US 11, um, US 11.5. Look at the price. Only £200 on StockX with, you know, probably more than 20 pairs available. Only £200. And if I'm not mistaken, the retail of these Wells Bonner, um, Adidas, Samba and Silver was about 170 if I'm not mistaken. About the 170 190 mark. So having to pay, I don't know, anywhere between the 50 to £100 pound on top to just purchase them whenever you want. Ease of use. I'm going to do that. Easy. Easy do that. I'm happy to do that. If it's only have to pay 50 to £100, pounds, that's an amazing turnaround. So it's quite cool to see for once that the resellers weren't able to fucking fleece these shoes and, you know, flipping, in, in, increase the fucking price of them and not allow people to actually want to purchase the shoes an opportunity to get them. So it's good to see that you can still purchase them for a somewhat um, reasonable flipping fee of £200. Pounds. So I'm absolutely over the moon of that. And it's good to see because it means that the people that actually want them can actually get the shoes. And I think that's always been my issue with this sort of stuff. Like, number one, the brands themselves, I feel like sometimes don't make enough units to satisfy demand. Like, my whole thing is like, for instance, that Apple Vision Quest thing, right, that everyone wants. The Apple Vision Quest thing, when it finally does come out, it's going to be available for everybody to purchase. We're all going to be able to get a pair of, fa of Apple flipping Vision Quest fucking, um, what you call it? Uh, glasses. We're all going to be able to get a pair one day, eventually get put in production. So why is it the case we can get those flipping Apple glasses, but if you want a pair of limited edition shoes, we have to all fight over a small amount of stock, get stressed over nothing, when really they could make enough to satisfy demand so that you don't create this secondary resale market. But we know why they do that, because the secondary resale market helps 
to kind of like bolster their stock prices, what they look like, um, satisfy the shareholders, add to the myth, help the marketing along the way. It's all kind of goes hand in hand in the same way that it kind of goes hand in hand with them kind of in a weird way, these kind of brands essentially, um, you know, propel kind of in, in some way encouraging the fucking replica market by having this fucking artificial scarcity um, enacted. Because I feel like nowadays, maybe a few years ago, when I was maybe getting into sneakers, early 2000s times, maybe even before that, you could justify only making a thousand pair of shoes because there's not many sneakers around the world. But I feel like nowadays, especially with the prevalence of sneakers everywhere, with the success of Yeezys, like, you know, you see Yeezys being worn by mums and dads in like shopping malls and shit. They're, they're popular, popular shoes. And you see fucking fakes of slides in Primark and all this sort of shit. I think personally, there's, you know, everybody essentially is a sneakerhead because I don't think there's a person in the world now, in most of the Western world, who doesn't know what a Jordan 1 is, who doesn't know what an Air Force 1 is, who doesn't know what an Adidas is or, or Adidas shoes in general. So if that's the case and sneaker industry is a billion dollar industry, there is no reason to kind of purposefully limit the amount of shoes that you make just to have this false sense of, you know, scarcity because at the end of the day, the shoes are never, ever, ever, you know, there's never not enough shoes. They're never going to be made more. Like you can say there's only a hundred made, but there's going to be loads kind of being backdoored. There's going to be loads of fakes made. So the whole numbering of shoes makes no sense anyway, limited to quantity. You might also just make more from the, from the source, have them be available for a certain amount of time, maybe like a week or whatever it may be. Make sure everyone's got their hands on it and then keep it moving. Because I don't understand why, like I said before, why can I get a hold of a pair of fucking Apple Vision Quest Pros easier than I can get a pair you know i can get a hold of a pair of fucking paris dunks it makes no complete sense but i'm happy to see sometimes there are occasions where the wearers of sneakers win and you're able to buy shoes normally so you can sign up because i think i've heard some people on social saying they were able to buy a pair of these wells bonner um sambas and silver pretty easily um via the raffles and stuff so it feels like maybe a surprisingly more numbers were made than before but still they need to do more because i feel like nowadays like you know this artificial scarcity thing is a bit lame um we all know that what the shoes we want we have the money to buy them make them available so we can purchase them and keep it moving that way because you know having loads of them all just sit on StockX and not have people actually wearing them is actually a discredit to the person that you're collaborating on too because they want to be seen on foot and not flipping hoarded up in some 17 year olds fucking room stacked up in boxes so they can post for instagram in my opinion but again what do i know i'm just a random guy in a random place talking out of my flipping asshole <laughs>